something like you mentioned earlier, the Hindus and the and the Pashtuns and and everybody over there. Actually, now, the police department described the pair as two Asian males. I'm looking at the at the video of the stabbing. It's not two. It's five or six against one. It's the, why did they say two Asian males? I mean, because the other four who were trying to beat him up were not involved in the in the stabbing. Oh, right. They're searching it, for they're searching for two Asian men who fled in a dark colored 09 to 12 Toyota Camry. All right, look, the car could be hidden in a garage or a warehouse. And by the way, if you look at the footage, it looks like he got one of them pretty good. He knocked one of the vermin to the ground. He's attacked by six scumbags like this, and he beats one of them to a pulp while they're attacking him with knives. This guy is a real hero. But we know it's not terrorism. We know it's alcohol-related. Right, exactly, because it was a nightlife incident. Yeah, it's a nightlife incident. That's right. And we, we have to assume it was a pack of Zoroastrians who attacked him. And because they're Asian, and I, I would assume it's Zoroastrians who did this. It could have been Assyrians, not even Syrians. It could have been us Syrians. It could have been very serious Assyrians. All right, my friend, we're running short on time. Uh, I'm going to come back and I'm going to play the newest tapes we have from the police department. Stay on the line for a copy of Government Zero. Back in a minute. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Savage. Hey, our Savage Nation is sponsored by SwissAmerica.com, the only company I trust for wealth insurance, gold and silver. Call 800-B-U-I-C-O-I-N. The suspects in this crime are two male Asian adults. The male... The males are being described as wearing white t-shirts and blue jeans. The suspects, we believe, fled in a 2009 to 2012 dark gray or black Toyota Camry. This incident is a very unfortunate um, altercation between two groups who are enjoying the nightlife in Midtown Sacramento. <laughs> this incident is not related to terrorism in any way. No, um, that we know. And we do not believe in any way we know it's not related to what occurred in France Absolutely, uh, months we ago. Know that. How do you know? And it's believed to be a nightlife-related incident. It's interesting to me that they even said Asian males because that, that's so wild for a police department in California. I'm, suppose, I'm pretty sure that Loretta Lynch, our attorney general, will look into racial profiling right there. They may have to send Al, Al Sharpton in to uh, re-educate them. Because the fact of the matter is that the biggest concentration of Muslims on Earth... Uh, is the Asian nation of Indonesia, where your president got his Islamic teaching in, in a madrasa. Well, I'm just saying. That's a fact, what I just said. Yeah, they're saying they're Asian. What kind of Asian? Yeah, I think it's quite racist to say Asian. Not to mention, by the way, in the EU, they call Asians uh, everyone, including people from the Middle East, are now lumped in as Asian. You know how Latinos and Hispanics are called whites when they commit a crime under the FBI statistics? Did you know that? You didn't, you didn't know that? You didn't know the FBI was rewritten, rewrote their rules during Bill Clinton's uh, reign of terror? And if a Hispanic or a Latino committed a crime, it was lumped under white. So now they're lumping Middle Eastern under Asian. Just saying. I like that phrase, just saying. It's kind of cute. It works, too. So the question is, are the jihadis amongst us? Yes. The FBI told us that. The next question is, who did this? Is it a revenge for his heroism in stopping the train shooting by that vermin rat on that train in France? Don't know. We don't know if there's a connection. They're referring to these six attackers as Asians. But we can't find it. Not even on the Internet. Is there a connection? We don't know. We know the American media has gone from bad to worse. And now uh, so horrible that it's nothing but his vesti or pravda. Traitors, traitors to our own survival, psychopaths, unbelievable to me. I don't call them the mainstream media, I call them something else. Calling them names doesn't help. But Jerry on WJR says something interesting here. Jerry on WJR, make your point, please. Yes, I think uh, the Sacramento police are doing the same thing Hillary did when she said there was not an attack on the embassy. It was because of a video. They're saying oh. This oh, oh, it wasn't an attack by, by uh, jihadists in Maghazi. It was because of a video. 
Uh, this is a, you see the parallel? You mean this is a nightlife-related incident? It's not related to his heroism and taking down a Muslim attacker on a train? Exactly. Well, we don't know yet, Jerry, but you see, the longer they keep this from us, the more people's Islamophobia will go up. And my, my intent here is to lower the Islamophobia uh, quotient, not raise it. And I'm demanding the release of the actual, what they know. I want to know who they are. Are they Middle Easterners or not? They should say they're not. Definitively, the Sacramento police to reduce Islamophobia needs to release a statement immediately saying we know definitively they're not Middle Eastern. That they're Zoroastrian cooks from a Zoroastrian restaurant in the Sacramento area who came out high on rice wine. If that's the case. Or it was a sushi sh chef who got a, a fingernail stuck in a, you know what I'm saying. Just saying. Stay in the line, my friend. Send you a copy of uh, Government Zero. We're going to keep poking the establishment till we get an answer. That's all we can do. All we can do is keep poking the Sacramento Police Department to, to realize we're not all as stupid as they may think. I don't know. He's going to let in 100,000 or 200,000 Syrian Muslims? Interesting. I wonder how many uh, knife bar uh, stabbings there'll be then. They're not terrorism related. Not related to any one religion or race. No, no. We, we want to make certain that all 100,000 or 200, whatever he decides, he could wake up Monday, make it a million. He could take in a million, fly him in on a CIA charter flight. Uh, bring them in by, uh, by, by any way he means, by ship, send a couple of uh, good mercy ships over to Syria, bring in 200,000 over a period of a year. We don't know. Whatever he decides. There's no opposition party. There's no immigration laws. The maniac in chief can do anything he wants whenever he wants it because we have no opposition. No Supreme Court. Nothing. All the branches of government have been cut. They've been pruned by Obama. He has pruned all the branches of government for his convenience. They're not even budding anymore. Hmm. Strange. Join the Savage Nation. Call now. 855-400-SAVAGE. 855-400-7282. Savage. Look, we can keep going on this, and I think it's going to lead us to a certain conclusion here. We know that the sociopaths in the government media complex are suicidal. We know that the sociopaths in the government media complex are not only individually suicidal, they're nationally suicidal. To describe the perps <coughs> as Asian is absurd. Asia? What does that mean? Saudi Arabia, Syria, Turkey, Iran, they're all Asian nations. And if you look at Scandinavia, what's going on, I know it's embarrassing, but 95% 90, of the rapists in Scandinavia, especially in uh, Sweden, are Muslim. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it came out. A rape epidemic over there. But because the Scandinavian men died a long time ago, mainly on drugs, sex, and rock and roll with each other, uh, the women are defenseless now in the once Nordic nation of Sweden. There are about a dozen verses in the Quran and the Hadith referring to Allah's hatred for non-Muslims and the eternal damnation and punishment awaiting them in the afterlife. I, I know you don't want to hear it. It's very uncomfortable. We know it's the religion of peace. The president told us that. We also know that slavery is permitted, and only non-Muslims may be taken as slaves. I know it's embarrassing. I know you don't want to hear about that because it, it's, it's just painful. And what can we do about it? Well, well, I don't know. Maybe you could do something about it. If you're fighting ISIS, well, we're not fighting ISIS, I'm sorry. The only thing Obama knows about ISIS is that in the hot summer in Martha's Vineyard, he, he eats ISIS. He eats ISIS. In the summer, different flavored ices. Strawberry, vanilla, raspberry. I hear his favorite is uh, vanilla, ices. Obama loves ices in a hot, on a hot day. He said he was fighting them. Yet they grew in, in power, number, territory. How could he be fighting them with the world's most powerful air force, which is now playing chicken with the Russians, mainly we dodging them? Oh, yeah. That's the new Air Force under the... You take a look at the Air Force secretary he appointed. I don't think she's ever flown a Piper Cub on a training mission. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, General. Sure, General. Sure, General. You know what I say now? 
Everybody get in your jets now and fly the other direction. Yes, ma'am. Yes, General. It would be laughable if it was a, a Charlie Chaplin movie. But the sociopath in the White House has so destroyed the military that we're on the run now from the Russians. But nevertheless, get back to the point. To get back to the point, rather, that I was making. The Russians have attacked the ISIS groups along with Assad's um, enemies. We know that. That's a given. No one ever said otherwise. It's so that the ISIS groups are on the run. Many of them are running terrified into mosques, hospitals, which is why uh, <clears throat> even in Afghanistan, the bad guys hide in hospitals. So, you know, we really don't know the whole story on that one. But the Russians made them run in a week. Obama couldn't make them run in a year. How is that possible? Because the Russians are going to town and they're really conducting a war. Obama was conducting a shill war, a Capricorn One war, a staged war, because they were our Hessians. ISIS was a creation. To the best of my knowledge, I wrote about it in Government Zero. When I started writing it a year ago, I started to see the signs of it. And the final proof for me was when I saw after they took Mosul, I'll say it again and again and again, and they had an open victory parade a half a mile long with their Toyota trucks, and not one rocket was fired at them by this government's Air Force. So I said, okay, the fix is in. They're basically a creation of America to bring down Assad. That's what it looked like to me, and I'm on the outside. Now, the more we see what's really going on, the more it looks like that. So if you've got a government of sociopaths who will lie about a war itself, with Josh Ernst, in my opinion, the war criminal, who needs to be brought up before war crimes trial, a war crimes trial after this regime is gone, there must be a people's war crimes trial for what's do been done to this country under this regime after it's over. And in the docket needs to be Josh Ernst, the spokesmouth. He is worse. He is worse than Goebbels because at least we knew who Goebbels was. This guy actually doesn't even know how bad he is. I think Josh Ernst is such a useful idiot. He doesn't even know how bad he is. But let's put him aside. So they're lying about everything. They're lying about the war against ISIS. They're lying about Putin. They're lying about Russia. They're lying about Obamacare. You can keep your doctor right. You can keep your terrorist if you like your terrorist, too. Did you know that? With the immigrants coming in, a new missive just came down from the federal government. If you like your jihadi, you can keep your jihadi in your local town. So I don't know what you want to do if you want to talk about this any further, but we're in real trouble here. And the last, the last link in this entire game is the Second Amendment. The absolute last link in this entire war against America is the Second Amendment. If you let the psychopath in the White House take your guns away through the trickery of the law, you will be a slave the same way the... English are slaves, the French are slaves, and the Germans are slaves to a few psychopaths, sociopaths, who have sold their countries down the river. That's all. I think I made my case. We have no new information on this. We're going to clean up this uh, story, and we're going to move on from the stabbing of the American hero in uh, Sacramento. We know they're not Muslims, though, because it was outside a bar and alcohol was involved. I think that was the implication. Right, Robert? The reason the police even went so far as to say it was alcohol-related is that indicates there were no Muslims involved. You see, that, that, you got to understand how they think. Here comes diversity. You're about to be culturally enriched from the Syrian refugees. All of them have been vetted, though. Josh Ernst has personally vetted all 10, 20, 30, 40, 50,000, let the uh, meter run. And we know none of them are jihadis. We know all of them love America, and they love Christians and Jews. Every one of the Muslims he's going to bring in from Syria is a lover of Christianity in America. They know who George Washington was. They know who Thomas Jefferson was. They know the laws of the land, and they respect it. When in Rome, do as the Romans do. They know all of that. And that's where we're going to be culturally enriched by the Syrian refugees. I don't know. I, I've heard about bar fights. I've never seen any Asians in bar fights. I, that's what leads me to believe something's wrong. Because I say again, the British press being, uh, uh, well, uh, altered. Let's say an altered press. Most Asians think, uh, most Americans think Asians are Japanese, Chinese, Koreans, Vietnamese, right? When you say Asian, what do you think of? Chinese food. You think Japanese food. Korean food, a barbecue. 
maybe Vietnamese 